Hey survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So, uh, I'm back over at the airplane wreckage. I thought I'd come over here looking specifically for fiberglass. Um, I did go back after last episode and slept for the night and uh, dumped some stuff off. Also, okay phone, I get it. Stop buzzing at me. I also, um, I also went to the Beaver Creek Lanes and went and cleared that out. Um, not cleared it, I already cleared it previously, but I went and uh, got all the stuff out of there. So I got some circuitry and stuff, I was able to repair the power armor to some degree. I'm still missing fiber optics, which are needed to repair, I think, the helmet, which is kind of low on durability. So I'm going to be going and looking through some areas for uh, some of those more important items like fiber optics that are kind of hard to, hard to find. I figured uh, this being an airplane and all, there might be might be something like that here. And looks like I missed some stuff here too, so I was kind of hasty in getting through this. And there's a machete. Okay, I'm gonna actually drop my combat knife here that I had on and put the machete on. I was trying to use that combat knife and uh, in power armor it just really sucks. It does uh, really slow medium speed attack even though it's a fast weapon when you're in power armor. It's just no good also can use that circuitry and stuff. That's my second biggest need item is circuitry and uh, yeah mostly fiberglass and circuitry and usually up in here there is a flight data box thing. Though I guess not here but I'll take the telephone that's some circuitry. Usually there's a uh, like a black box here or whatever Fallout 4 is equivalent of that is that gives you some fiber optics, but I don't see one there, so... Yeah, I'll be stopping by any higher tech places that I've already gone through. Looking specifically for fiber optics, because that's kind of hard to come by to repair the power armor. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I want to do here. Let me, uh, go down south here and check out the old pond house. And we'll, st we'll check out stuff on the way there too, I guess. Whatever looks interesting, you know? Also wanted to let you guys know two things. Number one, um, I'll probably be doing a little bit shorter episodes. I've been doing, I've been creeping up on like an hour plus for each episode, and that's because I'm enjoying the game. I tend to record longer episodes when I'm enjoying the game, but um, doing hour-long episodes is it's pretty taxing on me as far as time goes, and uh, getting out enough episodes for the week, like getting out seven hour-long episodes every week, is is pretty tough. When I'm whenever I'm just recording on the weekends, I'm doing all my editing and stuff there too. Um, and also, uh, it's tough on my hands and wrists. I've been having a lot of... I've, I've had, uh, issues with my wrists for a long time, just because I, I work in IT, so of course, you know, I'm working in IT, and I'm also playing games whenever I'm not working, so... It's just a lot of, uh, a lot of keyboard and mouse use. And, uh, yeah, it's just not great on your hands. So I'm taking, you know, over-the-counter stuff for that, but it only does so much, and eventually I'm probably going to have to see a doctor about getting my wrists fixed up. However they do that, I'm not sure. Maybe just wearing a, a thing will be enough, but maybe not. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, I need to do sh uh, shorter videos so I don't do less videos per week is what I'm saying. And I'll probably be doing a lot more Elden Ring because I can play that with a controller, and playing with a controller seems to not give me the same issues as playing with a keyboard, which is unfortunate because I really prefer playing everything else with a, uh, a keyboard and mouse, but, you know, it is what it is. I swear it's because I was out at our branch yesterday and was uh, working on a computer out there where it's just not very optimal, like, to place your hands and, and arms and stuff there. It just, you're in an awkward... It's awkwardly positioned. The chair sucks, and yeah. You end up uh, putting, I think, too much pressure on your wrists, and that causes issues. Okay, I think I've already been through here. Just, for whatever reason, I don't have the uh, map marker here. There's a cave here. I doubt we're going to find any fiber optics in a cave, though, so let's just keep going south, yeah? 
I don't want to get too sidetracked. I don't want to, like, explore every little nook and cranny and every little location I can find on this place. I don't think we can do that. Don't have to go that far. I guess this is the way to the cave, so, uh... Is this it right here? What is this? Oh, no, this is just a little... little hole in that... rock there. Here we go. Yeah, see, I guess I, I didn't actually go in the cave here. Oh, no, there's, there's people here. Okay. Ow! That actually... Ow! What the hell are you, even? I'm just, I'm just hitting every headshot to, oh, oh my god, that hurts. That's gotta be a lever action, like a high-powered lever action to get through that much armor. Was that you shooting at me? No, you just have plasma cartridges. Who's got the lever action, man? That shit hurts. It's you. Switch weapons. Oh my god, they're both unloaded. Ha! <laughs> two for one. Good old bloody mess perk. Yeah, fine tooth lever action. No wonder it hurt. And the ported calibre lever action. Yeah, yeah, no wonder they freaking hurt. Also, I talked to Red a little bit, the uh, creator of the wonderful Fallout 4 unofficial, or Fallout 4 Frost unofficial update mod which is uh, what gives us access to yes. Nucleus and a lot of other stuff as well. About some of the issues I saw last time, um, mainly that ghouls seem to be dropping stim packs quite often. That's why I have like 13 stim packs on me as opposed to the uh, six or so I found previously. All those ghoul bodies that were outside had stim packs on them. Um, I, I took them. I'm, I'm not, no shame guys, no shame, I took them. But uh, I've confirmed it is a bug now, so I will stop looting any stim packs I find on ghouls, since that seems to be a bug with the uh, with the game or with that patch. It's only, by the way, that bug only exists on existing playthroughs. So if you start a new game, you won't have that issue. So it's not really and that'll get fixed because you know it is recommended that you start a new game for this updated patch. However, uh, it would be it would be soul crushing to stop this run and start over again for me. After all the work I've put in, I'm pretty sure it would be for you guys too, so I'm not going to do that. We'll keep going on this run. Thankfully, he was able to get it so that you can continue on the current playthrough. You just might have a little bit of weirdness with some of your stuff, so... Just keep that in mind. If you see the same issue. Okay, not bad, but we have better. Don't need this, I don't think. No, nothing on that that's really that good. Don't need that. Uh, this is worse than ours. You know, if there's a weapon workbench here, I could scrap them all for parts. That would actually be pretty good. They're over here if I see one. Now that I have the, uh, the perk for scrapper, like, all maxed out, scrapping weapons is actually pretty good. Like, getting those screws and stuff is not a big deal anymore. Which, you know, makes me realize I could I could probably do that early game and it'd be really good. I don't see a weapons workbench anywhere here, though. There are some traps down here, if I remember correctly. They seem to all be sprung, though, so I guess we're, we're okay. But I was through here before, but maybe not, because I, ne I never got the uh, notification or whatever. The map marker. Also, uh, thank you to so many of you for responding to my question about Fallout 76, about a permadeath playthrough with, you know, specific modifiers on a custom server. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has responded. I think it's been overwhelmingly positive that people would enjoy that kind of a playthrough, so that's something I'll be looking into once this one's done. We'll continue the adventures of Wandy the Crazy Cyborg in uh, Fallout 76, probably on a custom server. 
and I, I know I'm done here. I know I'm walking in circles, guys. I know. But I just, I'm being thorough, okay? That's why they call it being thorough. You know? Like the Raiders saying. But yeah, I definitely want to do that in the future. Um, when that will happen, I don't know. Depends on several other factors, like... Will we get a release of Horizon 1.9 sometime soon? This guy is not friendly. Oh god. Oh boy. Ran all the way over there to crouch down and pick that weapon up just to get shot. All right, buddy, you're wasting all my ammo here. It's been wasted, I think. Oh, it was just a pipe rifle, whatever. We, we wouldn't even pick up 38 rounds. Well, I'd pick them up, but I would never use them. Desk fans are good loot, I'll take that. Severely dehydrated. Didn't bring that much water. I guess we can always just drink from the pond if we need to. Though I think diseases are a much bigger pain in the ass to cure now, so... Like, I, I, ironically, I got a whole bunch of, um, of antibiotics. Kind of luckily got a whole bunch of them. But now they're not used for half the stuff they need to cure, so, uh, yeah, I have to be kind of careful about that. Seems like Red is borrowing some of that, some of those ideas from Horizon, which is cool. I like that. All right, nice bed here at the old pond house. If I need one in the future. Uh, toilet doesn't work, you gotta use the bucket, man. That's how it is in these times. You gotta shit in the bucket and then take it out the creek and dump it. Just how she goes. Ooh, frag grenade, impact grenade, and a pulse mine. Another thing that was updated was that so in the patch notes it said that certain mines and explosives, certain explosives I think, um, will do less damage to humans but more to robots. And I think that's referring to pulse mines. Oh, they certainly do have a lot of damage. 600 energy damage, huh? I'm going to assume they do less damage to humanoids but more to people in power armor or robots. That's cool. That's how it was in, uh, Fallout... Um... Like, New Vegas and Fallout 4, I think, so... Or Fallout 3. See, so yeah, it makes sense. Makes more sense. Look, you saved your pulse, uh... Your pulse grenades and stuff specifically to deal with robots and power-armored people in those games, so... Yeah, it makes sense. It's a bit too dumbed down to have it not be like that in, uh... Oh, hello. In Fallout 4. I like the idea of, like, specific counters to things, you know? But I don't like it to be like that for everything, you know? Like... Sometimes in games, they go overboard with it. Not always, but sometimes it's a bit much. Aluminum is like our third most needed thing, I think, after everything else. Oil is always kind of rare, so I'll take oil too if I can find it. If it's in a, if it's in a uh, easily, you know, if it's light, it's not too heavy. I also have to be kind of conservative with the bobby pins because they actually break now, as I was saying that. I break one. Got it. Sensor module. I don't think that, does it have fiber optics? I'm not gonna check. It's take too long to find it, but that might have fiber optics in it. My helmet's not in that bad of uh, repair yet. It's only like half durability. I need them to upgrade parts too, though. Like, I need to upgrade several of the parts all the way to F. 
they're still at uh, rank A. That will give them a lot more durability. It's sad because we're going to build this power armor up and then I'm just going to end up tossing it as soon as we get back to the Commonwealth because you can't really take it with you unless you want to walk through water for like an hour. And that's just no fun. But you know what they say, you gotta let go and begin again. These the poor wolves, man. This machete is just super dull. Oh, god. It's like smacking them with a brick or something, you know? Not doing too much cutting damage, it's more like blunt force trauma. I wonder if bashing counts as unarmed damage. I wonder if that's why when I smacked poor Timmy, his head disintegrated into a million pieces because I was getting the unarmed damage bonus. I also had like Psycho and a whole bunch of other stuff going too, so it could have just been that. But. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Sometimes you find bobby pins down here. I don't see any here, though. On those shelves. They're hard to see, but in a couple of locations there are bobby pins stashed like that. It always makes me kind of stop to look and make sure I'm not missing any. Aluminum I'll take. I think we're good on screws. And wood we're pretty okay on at this point. Antiseptic might be useful. I don't know. We'll see. This is a big town, though, right? Like, there's a bunch of stuff here. Not a big town, but it's... It's a reasonably sized town. It's one of the bigger places. One of the bigger, like, you know, locales in Far Harbor. Yeah, it's... I remember this place. There's a lot of hunters here. Just gonna scope it out and see what I can see. Maybe I'll get lucky and tag a few people here. Right there is a couple turrets. Is that... Did I see a plasma or a laser rifle? I saw some kind of high-tech weapon on that guy, I think. Uh, where's this guy at? I can't get him. Hoping for an easy tag. Uh-oh. I've been found. Sneaking in power armor is much harder now, by the way, so it doesn't surprise me very much that I got found. Which I think is a good change. I, I think, like, if you're in power armor, you really shouldn't be... You're a, a giant, hulking, shiny piece of metal. Like, you really shouldn't be stealthy. There you are. There you are. Are you stuck? Did your little feet get stuck on something? At least I have a... a marker, a pip on him now, so I can... I know where he's at. Did that stick in that, that tree right over there? Oh, they're over here.
I am not liking... There we go. Not liking that harpoon gun, man. Those things have a lot of damage potential. Like they can, they can go through quite a bit of damage, quite a bit of uh, DR. Okay, you can keep your harpoon gun. Well, we are hungry and thirsty. Well, not thirsty, don't care about, but we're hungry, so don't have to worry about carry weight just yet. Damnable fog. I can't see much. Turn up. No sign of him now. No. Oh, right in the knee. Used to be an adventurer like me, but then I got a. 308 round to my knee. Oh, you have a pipe rifle. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, yeah, it's 308s too. Okay. Okay. I wish you could use knuckles and stuff like that in power armor. It's really a shame. I mean, I, I get it's for lore reasons and stuff, but like. Deathclaw gun. That's one thing I have to get, by the way. I, I never got the, uh, the white horse, which is like my favorite of all the various. Uh, weapons in Frost, the special weapons, and it's a Deathclaw gauntlet. And I remembered where it's at, it's in the sinkhole. I never went in the sinkhole because there's a Deathclaw encounter in there that was kind of scary. I didn't have the stuff to deal with the Deathclaw at the time, I don't think. Maybe I killed him, I don't remember, but I didn't I didn't go in the sinkhole for some reason. And uh, there's a lot of ghouls and stuff in there too we can kill, and that'll be some decent experience. But yeah, when we get back to the Commonwealth, I'm going to grab that. I think that when you go to Nuka World, you're stripped out of your power armor just like you are in Far Harbor, so I would like to make like the best armor I possibly can make and take it with me. Maybe take the uh, Deathclaw Gauntlet with me as well. There's a power armor bench here. I can do some stuff there if I want to. I think this town's actually a pretty good... It's a pretty good location for a base if you want to have a, a non... a non-settlement base so you don't end up killing yourself when you use a workbench. But I think the main downside is that most of the benches are pretty spread out. I think most of them exist here, but they're pretty... They're <coughs> oh my god, my voice. They're pretty uh, far between. So we have armor over here. That dude's just standing over there, just cooking some chems, you know? Not a care in the world. That's how I want to go, man. I mean, not the chem making part, but you know. Just take me out when I'm making a video hap or something, you know? Like, just happily playing a video game. Just a nice flesh hat round to my cranium, and boom, you're done. You're gone. I was reading on Reddit about uh, a guy that got sentenced to death, or he's sentenced to death, but he's on, been on death row forever because nobody will sell the state the drugs they need for lethal injection. Which I'm not going to go into, like, you know, pro or con of. Uh, capital punishment and all that stuff, because there's a lot of opinions on that, and I... I don't even know if I know what I think about that, to be honest. Like, there is... that's a debate for another day, for me, personally. Um, I choose not to choose, I guess, on that subject. But, just uh, the fact that they can either do a firing squad... 
the, the other options, like they said, they're, they're, they're going to execute this guy no matter what. But, um, his options are either firing a squad or electric chair. Both of which, I mean, of the two, I think, probably firing a squad is a bit more humane. But, they're, the method is questionable. They're going to shoot him in the heart. Three guys are going to shoot him in the heart all at the same time, um, which... I mean, yeah, your heart's going to be pretty well done for, and supposedly you you lose blood pressure very quickly whenever that happens, so there's not much suffering, but there's still going to be some suffering. I, I'd assume, like, if it were me, you know, find, like, find the best caliber of of a round that would 100% would for sure penetrate the skull. Then have it be like a flechette round or something that's going to expand and bloom and do as much damage as possible to the brain so it just, you know, splat. Like, if my head could just explode like it like these, like this guy right here. Oh, okay, I didn't hit him in the head. But if my head could just explode like they often do in Fallout 4 and just instant, you know, instant death, that would be preferable. Like that's that's what I would want. Not being shot in the heart, and I mean, you're still gonna... You're still gonna feel that. No thank you. But electric share would be a lot worse, I would think. I mean, that's not a fast death. It takes a while to die by electrocution. The fact that, like, we ever thought that was humane, like, I don't understand. Like, have you ever stuck your finger into, you know, onto a electrical thing whenever it's in the outlet? You know, like, have you ever been plugging something in and actually shocked yourself? It's not a great feeling. It's not very pleasant. I did that when I was, like, four or five playing around with electric cords, even though I knew I shouldn't have been. Grandma told me to stop. I was over at Grandma's house. She told me to stop that. You're gonna, you're gonna shock yourself, she said. Did I listen? No. Had to get shocked and learn the hard way. That's why I'm so deranged now at a later age. Okay, uh, what is down? Okay, over here there's something... We don't need to go over there, though. I think we're good. Um, let's go to the Nucleus. That's where I went to go over here. Got this explored. Got people killed. Do I have any booze on me? I'm probably getting kind of low on sanity. I'm going to save that whiskey for whenever... Whenever I actually need some carry weight, but... But yes, let's go over and check out this area. So I saw cooking, I saw two armor workbenches. I'm sure there's a weapons workbench around here somewhere. Because that's how they tend to operate. In Fallout 4, I tend to give you all the workbenches in the town like this. Who knows, maybe they thought about doing it as a, uh, a base initially, like a, a settlement that you could do, but they decided not to, maybe. I don't know. Ideally, though, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll say this last thing and I'll shut up about the whole, uh, the whole capital punishment, like, being, being shot thing, you know, or whatever. If I were to go like that, if I were to be executed by firing a squad like that, I'd want to go out high as a kite. Like, give me all the morphine or all the heroin or whatever. I've never, never tried those things before, but... Give me all that stuff so I can go out with a bang, you know? I doubt I'll care much at all once I'm high on that stuff, so... If other people... Other accounts... Other accounts of it uh, have... Are any... Are, like, true at all, you know? I don't think I've known anybody personally that's, that's done those 
kind of things. Well, maybe maybe morphine. I mean, morphine's a regular drug you get in the hospital. Is this the right place? Yeah, this is the right place. Are we really? Yeah, we're yeah we're right by it. Oh, it's right over here. Okay. See, this has been added, and we can go inside now. Or if these ghouls will have spawned with anything new on them. Just hairbrushes. You know, it's very important when you're a ghoul, in case you get a ghoul friend, you know, to have good looking hair. So I understand they're carrying their hairbrushes, making sure, you know, making sure they look all right. That's it. We talk about morbid things on this channel sometimes, you know? So, I did hear that, unfortunately... Oh, I hear energy weapons. Oh, there was the guy on that pier. I don't know if I ever got the guy on that pier in the other location. I thought I had an energy weapon. Just remembered. Crap. Maybe I'll go back over there and check again. But, um... This area is not finished yet. It's explorable. There's loot here. But it's not finished yet. There will be lore and stuff added in the future patch. Does this work? Oh, of course not. Oh, it's ghouls. Of course. Well, that makes sense. Well, they were fighting. Whoa! I'm curious to see if the bug exists with new ghouls or just with old ghoul corpses. Ooh, very nice. I don't know how many squirrels stew, do I? Negative. We have an open wound as well. I'm just re uh, like I'm just out genning the open wound, I guess, out regening it. You have plenty of bandages, though. You use uh, a bandage to take care of the open wound, obviously. I keep thinking they're fusion cores, but they're just just taunting me with those. A navy remnant. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought that was a door. It's not. Oh, it's a uh, wheelchair accessible. Look, okay, this is the only one of these in the whole game. No handrails, though. Come on now, Fallout. You gotta, you gotta be, uh... Is it ADA compliant? Toothbrush, scissors, paper. Someone's got a nice ritual circle going here for whenever they poop. Okay. I'm not gonna judge, man. Sometimes, you know... Sometimes it's hard to poop, you know? Wants to be stubborn. That, uh, you got, you got poison thing, that should be fixed, by the way. It should no longer be a thing. There should be something in here, like a ritual item or something. Like, maybe a new... I don't know, maybe a new item. A new, like, frost-specific unique item. Hello. Hello, Mr. Thick Boy. With some nice combat armor. No nice weapon, though. Like your hat, though. Looks very military like. Uh oh. Got a missing thing here. Are you out of ammo? Oh, yeah? Okay.
Hey, it's a gimmick, and I don't think you can get this anywhere else. Hmm, just missing some of these textures here. It's weird that that's come back in. As I said, this is very much like a beta version of the Nucleus. It's explorable, but it's not anywhere near done yet. Turret. Ghouls. Ghouls running into walls. Ghouls Gone Wild. So it's one of my favorite titles name, I'm just saying. If you weren't around in, like, the, uh... The 90s, I want to say? Or was it early 2000s, maybe? If you stayed up late... On, like... Ooh, fiber optics, nice. And vacuum tubes. Ooh, power relay coil. I don't need it anymore, but uh, very nice. Minigun? Does this give you a minigun? It used to be a bug. I think we just picked one up. Did I get a minigun for free? I did. Very nice. I don't know if I have any 5 mil, but I'll take it back. Because I can. The gamma gun, I'm not going to take it back. Ooh, pristine combat shot. Yes, we will take that back too. I think it's about time. Are we hungry? We are. Let's take care of that. And then let's do some venison. Yeah. Do I get another minigun whenever I do this? Did I just get two? Did I just get, like, unlimited miniguns? Did I, is this a thing? Wait a minute. Wait, it went away this time. No! My, my minigun! Okay, I got it back. Never mind, we're good. Definitely a tiny bit buggy. But that's a bug from original Frost, not from like this, you know, not from this area or anything. Ooh, a marine wetsuit. Very nice. I don't think I have one of these. I'll take that back too. Ooh, circuit board. Very nice. There's five circuitry right there. Some things glitching through here a little bit. Oh, those are, uh... Gas containers. Jerry cans. You can't... Can you go inside of here? Inside the sub? Can you do it in, far, in the regular Far Harbor? That'd be really cool to be able to go inside the uh, submarine. But I don't remember if you can or not. I think you can, actually. Isn't it, like, back here? No. Wasn't there a way? Right here's the hatch. If you can get in and I, and I fail to get in... Wait, what's that? Oh, the vessel! Yes. We can go in. I'm gonna let's save real quick because this is new territory and I don't want to end up, you know, crashing and losing progress. Hello. E level up, very nice. Marine wetsuit, marine wetsuit. Stealth blade combat knife. This might actually be better. And my machete. Let me see here. No, never mind. Machete is better. I mean, the stealth blade combat knife is... Wait, that's a regular combat knife. Uh, stealth blade. 489 versus 49. Yeah, definitely better. Okay. I can't upgrade. Do I have iron fatigues on right now? What am I wearing? Yeah, I do. Okay, don't need those. Come back to the lore in a second. I can't upgrade the machete yet because I don't have the perks for it, and I doubt I'll, I'll get them on the island out here. I'm getting other stuff instead, so 
I'm not going to hold on to that machete, even though I prefer the machete, because the swing speed of a combat knife is the same as a machete when in power armor. You can't do the nice stabby stabby motion. Mission status terminal. Okay, and there's more. All right, let me check out the first lore right here. Nothing here. Okay. I, I think this stuff will all be added later on. Firing system malfunction. Mission missile active launch key input required for K97-03. Okay. Can we fire it then? This is actually pretty spacious inside of here for, you know, being a sub... I mean, you'd think it'd be, a, like, less room in here. Oh, nice. Nice bed here. Excuse me. I'm over here. They're so dumb sometimes. They have really, really dumb AI sometimes. Okay, Nuka Cherry. Some decent food. More stuff down below, obviously. You go back here, it's... I don't want to go too far. But yeah, there's a terminal over here. I don't want to miss stuff, you know? Come on, you can do it. There you go. Nothing here. More wetsuits. I think we're good on clipboards. Don't need any more springs for now. Nothing back here of interest. Nice, some um, ballistic fiber. Um, ballistic fiber and ballistic weave in Frost has been buffed to some degree. It now not goes in, doesn't go on undergarments. It now goes in regular armor as like a craftable slot thing, I think. I haven't checked it out too much, but um, supposedly it's quite good. Um, I don't know how much extra damage resist and energy resist you can get from it, but supposedly it's, it's a lot better than it was, so... You know, um, might actually be worth considering doing a non-power armor run at some point now. Like I, before I was always kind of very, very ardently against a non-power armor run because you're just going to die, you know, a permadeath run anyways, you're just going to die. And plus you're taking way more rads. There's enough uh, fusion cores out there. It's not a big deal. Like, I don't know. It just seems, it just seems, uh, why would you not use power armor? You know, like just because you think it's not cool, I guess. Some people don't like it. Um, but yeah, now it's a lot more feasible, I think, to not use power armor. Well, we had a lot of radiation waste over here. That opens, huh? That doesn't make much sense, but all right. Oh, hello. Another stealth blade combat knife. Come on, one of you guys has to have, like, a laser rifle. Or a plasma rifle would be even better, because I have lots of plasma rounds I can't use currently. That'd be kind of cool if this was, like, the one location you could go. Oh, this is a fusion core generator, but it's... Oh, it's not one that you can get a fusion core out of.
It's a navy vessel, man. Surely one of you guys still has a decent weapon on you, you know? Okay, so I went down here. Uh, did I go everywhere over here? I think I did. Is that, uh, is that everything? Oh, I didn't go through here, but this is just an alternate way to get down here, right? Yeah, it's just like a second doorway. I think that's all in here for now. And like I said, there's no lore here yet, but there will be in the future. In a future update, they're going to add more stuff to it, and it'll be cool. Like, this guy should have a nice laser weapon on him. Maybe he can spawn with one. I just got very unlucky with what he spawned with. You never know. There was more stuff up on top. Hello. Are you my girlfriend? I think you were my girlfriend. Not anymore. Now you're just experience. Hmm. This is blocked off. Like I said, still a bit buggy. Gonna have some, you know, more stuff. Fix stuff, you know, in the future. I'm gonna save again just in case. I don't wanna crash. One does not open. What about this one? Nope. This one should. There could be a missile launcher behind these things. I really should be crouching whenever I go in them. Water filter. Always nice to have more of those. Ooh, and duct tape. Do you say it like duck tape or duct tape? I mean, it's it's spelled duct tape, but I feel like very few people actually say duct tape because the the two T's get kind of interwoven between the two words, you know? There might be more down below, too. I'm not sure if I went all the way down over there. Command center. Hmm, maybe some navy remnants here. Surprise contact. Engaging. Oh. Okay, uh, uh uh It's chem time. Chem's the rescue. No, switch weapons. Okay, important safety tip. Anybody over here? We good? Important safety tip. Uh, don't go in there without crouching first. Containment leak, evacuation protocol in effect, open. Or, you know, wear power armor. General's office key. I don't know if I've ever been in here. I don't think I even went in here in the base game. Which would have been in Horizon, probably. But, I mean, you would have been able to get in here, still, in Horizon. I don't think I... This new area existed. It's severely dehydrated. Okay, more water. 
do really want the minigun. I mean, I do have some five mil, but uh, just just drop it. You're never gonna you're never gonna be able to carry it. Security door control open. Well, that's a whole lot of nothing. Okay, um... Okay, nice stuff here. Okay, stuff. I need nuclear material, too. That's what I was missing, too, is, is uh, nuclear material. Nice circuit boards. General's office back here. I know I already said like we're we're not gonna go like to an hour anymore in episodes, and my freaking wrists are already hurting. Uh, I gotta take a second to like stretch them and stuff. But um, I I want to see what's in here. Darn it! I have to see what's here. This has to be General's office, right? No, I guess not. Unidentified intruder. Okay, guys. Seriously, I I want to see what's in here, but it goes further back than I even realized. So. I think I'm going to probably back off, save for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. We'll explore more next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.